Bats don't get sick from most viruses and yup, that includes corona viruses. Bats can of course contract and spread viruses but they also have plenty of genes responsible for antiviral activity keeping them out of harm's way. One exception to this is rabies. While bats occasionally get sick from rabies, it rarely kills them. Beer is twice as fizzy as champagne. While one flute of champagne produces about 1 million bubbles, a half pint of beer creates around 2 million bubbles, according to a 2021 study published in the journal ACS Omega. So why does this matter? More bubbles result in a more intense flavor. Of course, that's not to say that beer and champagne are in any way comparable to each other in taste. They just happen to be the beverages the researchers selected to compare to their results for context. Humans are capable of producing venom. Believe it or not, while humans do not currently produce venom, technically we could. In fact, all reptiles and mammals have that capability, according to an article published in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Basically, we have all the tools we need and it's up to evolution to get us there. Science has many uses for donated bodies. When you donate your body to science, it can be used as a crash test dummy, a cadaver for medical training, a specimen for forensic research, or a donor for organ transplants. Banana peels have almost no friction. Banana peels have felled many cartoon characters. However, what makes it so slippery in the first place? To answer this, four Japanese scientists measured the amount of friction between a shoe, a banana skin and the floor. Turns out, the friction coefficient was at an almost non-existent 0.07. Walking with the banana peel was six times slippier than normal friction between a shoe and the floor. The human eye has a 576 megapixel resolution. When our eyes send visual signals to the brain, it has enough capacity to process images in 576 megapixels. However, we only see at about 150 dpi, since that is more than enough visual stimuli for us to see objects. It is scientifically possible to die from drinking too much water. It's important to stay hydrated to keep our bodies functioning well. However, too much water can also be fatal. When a dehydrated person drinks too much water without the accompanying electrolytes, they can die from water intoxication and hyponatremia. In fact, forced water intake is even a known torture method. The ocean contains 20 million pounds of gold. Gold in the ocean waters is so dilute that it would be like looking for sugar grains in a gallon of unstirred coffee. Gold ores can also be found in the depths of the sea floor, but these deposits are encased layers upon layers of rock. Currently, there is no efficient way to retrieve these gold deposits from the ocean. A fifth grader accidentally created a new molecule in 2012. During a class activity, 10-year-old Clara Lizen presented her teacher with a randomly constructed molecule diagram. Instead of dismissing it, Mr. Kenneth Boer took a photo and sent it to a chemist for analysis. Turns out it was a new explosive molecule called tetranitratoxicarbon. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thank you for watching.